create permanent holding camps for such emergencies. Hence, the need for Anambra State Government to establish standard holding centers at strategic places for flood displaced persons. It is better for us to plan now. At least you can go to some upland areas and build a permanent holding centers so that if such a thing occurs, you can move people, you can evacuate them from the river lines of March area, you can evacuate them and get them to those areas for them to be kept, taken care of. On his part, the member representing Aguata constituency 2, Honorable Tony Mobike, who applauded Governor Soludo for coming to the aid of flood displaced persons last year with relief materials, maintained that if government takes proactive measures against flooding, it will prevent a lot of damage. I also want to give kudos to the Governor of Anambra State, Professor Tukuma Soludo. I remember when the last event happened, we quickly mobilized resources and government services to get to rescue of people who were so displaced. In their contributions, the member representing Anocha Constituency 2, Honorable EGK Okechuku, his Anambra East counterpart, Honorable Obi Mweke, and the member for Onisha South 2 Constituency, Honorable Jude Umen Najiego, added that construction of more permanent holding centers for flood displaced persons will prevent fire brigade approach to the issue, stop further deaths, and ameliorate the sufferings of the people. On his part, the Deputy Speaker of the House House, Honorable Chukuma Okoye called on the federal government to partner Anambra State government in tackling the menace of flood ravaging the river Rhine areas. Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Somtochuku Udeze, described the motion as apt and read out the resolution of the House while the lawmakers supported it through voice vote. Member State House of Assembly calls on the state governor for the establishment and construction of more permanent holding centers for each of the river line local government areas in the state. Those in support say aye. Aye. Those against say nay. The ayes are. Also at the plenary, the minority group in the State House of Assembly pledged their unalloyed loyalty and support to the Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Udeze, and Governor Chuku Masoludo for the peace and progress of the state through the Deputy Minority Leader, Honorable Douglas Ebuna. From the State House of Assembly, Chukwemeka Mordelem, ABS News. The Children's Sexual and Gender-Based Violence Court, sitting in Okanambra State, has ruled that it has no jurisdiction to hear the case of 28-year-old Chinonso Abase, who is accused of conspiring with others, now at large, to traffic and procure a 15-year-old girl child, named withheld from Ishiago Oka South local Government Area of Anambra State, to Alafia Street in Koka area of Lagos State, for labor and sexual exploitations. Correspondent Joseph Ewater reports that in a seven-count charge brought before the court, the defendant was also accused of procuring abortion on the girl child in Lagos State after realizing that she was six weeks pregnant, as well as inflicting physical injuries on the victim. Offenses are punishable under Section 13.1 of the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Enforcement and Administration Act Laws of Federation of Nigeria 2015, among others. Complainant and prosecution witness in the matter, Mr. Shibuzo Bidike, had informed the court that through the victim's school teacher in Lagos, the family was informed that the girl bled for nine days and upon interrogation, she confessed to have been raped by the accused. He further stated that when the girl child complained of illness, the accused, Shinonso, took her to a nurse who gave her drugs that made her start bleeding from her private part. After listening to presentations from prosecution and defense counsels on whether or not the court has resolution over the matter, the court had adjourned to 14 July 2023 for determination. Ruling on the matter, the court said it has no jurisdiction over the case and subsequently ordered that it be transferred to Lagos State for continuation of trial. Speaking with ABS after the court ruling, the prosecution counsel from the Anambra State Minister of Justice, Barrister Vivian Anyene, said she would ensure that the court order is acted upon in record time to ensure justice for all concerned, the victim, the accused and the state. 
Meanwhile, police investigation revealed that one nurse, Ngozi, who is a chemist at Koka area Orile, Lagos, helped Shinonso in procuring abortion on the girl child. And upon arrest, the accused Shinonso volunteered his confessional statement where he admitted the allegation of the complainant. From the Anambra State High Court sitting in Oka, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. The Anambra State Women and Social Welfare Commissioner, Honorable Ifio Binabo, has, through the Abagana police, apprehended a lady who abused her aged mother. The intervention came after a video of the said lady brutalizing her mother surfaced on the internet. Collaborating with the police, the woman, the woman was arrested in the early hours of Saturday and the case transferred to the State Criminal Investigative Department of Police Command in Oka. Reacting to the video where a lady was physically beating, kicking and abusing her aged mother, Honorable Obinabo lamented on the extent of abuse going on in the society and warned offenders to desist forthwith or face the law. She therefore warned women in particular to always be agents of change by showing love at all times. Meanwhile, the Honorable Commissioner has sheltered the old woman who was seen laying helpless on the floor in the video. Honorable Obinabo, after receiving her, immediately took her to the hospital for medical examination and treatment. On her part, the suspect, while at the police custody, pleaded for pardon, promising to amend her ways by taking care of the aged woman with love. Still to come on the news tonight, Ndianam Brara in Abuja calls for support of Governor Saludo's administration. Record heat wave continues to spread across Europe. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Nambra state economy and promotion of core Ibu values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Hold on, the news returns after the break. Enjoy sports made for you. Recipes made for you. Entertainment made for you. Learning made for you. Enjoy YouTube made for you. Get amazing video data bundle offers on your mobile phone by simply dialing star 312 hash today. YouTube made for you. Welcome back to the rest of the news. Ahead of Governor Chukuma Soludo's visit to the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Ndianambra resident in the capital city say support on all fronts is key to rapid development of Anambra State. Governor Soludo is expected in the city tomorrow for a town hall meeting with Ndianambra to exchange views with them on governance of the state. Abuja correspondent Ikwiajide tells us more. According to a senator that represented Anambra North in the past, Senator Iman Osike, Anambra State is in safe hands because Governor Saludo is poised for governance. He counted agriculture, youth empowerment and security as some of the areas where the governor has changed the narrative in the state. Senator Anosike called on Ndianambra in the diaspora to assist in entrenching good governance in the state by bringing home their wealth for the present state administration has provided an enabling environment for businesses to thrive in the state. Saluda has not stayed for very long time, but he has made an impact. He has made an, he has made Anambra state a livable place. He came into Anambra when Anambra was rough. The grace of God, Anambra is getting better. If For an energy expert, Professor Charles of Ebu, Governor Saludo has made the state livable again and citizens can now come home without fear of insecurity. He commended the numerous ongoing road projects in the state but advised that government should ensure democracy dividends spread across communities in the state to give the people a sense of belonging. The energy expert helped that since Anambra State is now recognized as an oil producing state, governments should hasten up for the state to be accepted as a member of the Niger Delta Development Commission to partake in the enormous dividends accruable from there. I think that's the next thing. The governor must make sure. By now, it's past six months now since we became oil producing. Now we should actually be part of the Niger Delta 
uh, team and benefit from all the, bu the budgets, our own share of the road networks. And so In Abuja, Princess Ekwi Ajide reporting. The chairman of Maycom Global Limited Group, Dr. Ameji Maso of Fumata Commissions, the company's group's headquarters in NAF Valley Estate, Sokora Abuja, in Grand Style. This is happening as part of the 23rd anniversary ceremony of the company. The commissioning have attracted the staff, team members, stakeholders, families, members of the advisory board, among other top government officials. We have details. In his address of welcome, the chairman Amecom Group, Dr. Marcel Ofomata, explained that Amecom Global Limited was officially incorporated with the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria as a single brand in the year 2004 to do business in areas of asset financing, manufacturing, installations, provision of alternative power solutions, among others, with their popular buy now, pay later slogan. The American boss made it known that their mission is to enhance quality of lives through the provision of unbeatable stress-free asset acquisition solution. Point Pointing out that their core values is to be a one-stop global asset financing company in Africa with integrity and passion. Notably, Dr. Ofomata explained that Amecon has grown from one business branch in Uyo to 33 other business locations in six geopolitical zones of the country with headquarters in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, including presence in China and Ghana, respectively, and the staff have has grown from 3 to 1,500, including himself. Dr. Marcel Ofomata, an indigenous of his Sofia town, Aguata local government area, who is also founder of Marcel Ofomata Foundation, graced the occasion. The only Sofia disclosed that the edifice is smart and installed with best technological tools for working pleasures of staff, customers, investors, business partners. The chairman of Amecon Group used the occasion to urge the federal government to enact legislation aimed at ensuring the efficiency of ports in the country. Dr. Amechi Marcel of Omata, who is the immediate past president of Entrepreneur Organization Abuja, while lamenting multiple tax systems in the nation, called for harmonization of the nation's tax system and total overhaul and digitization of nation's port. Also speaking at the event, Chairman of the Advisory Board of Amecon Group, Sir Mark Benito Ozigibo, emphasized that the products manufactured by Amecon are durable and of topmost quality, calling for more patronage to the company. You had the CEO, Chairman of Amecon, tell you We've been in it for 20 years, and what we are noted for is quality. And we don't buy products from the market. We produce them now. We produce them. We've got factories in China. We've got in Nigeria. So every product you get that bears Amicon logo is produced by Amicon. Neka and Olifu, ABS News. From the foreign scenes, large swaths of southern Europe continue to swelter in record heat as wildfires rage across the continent. A temperature's heat a high of 46.3 degrees centigrade in Sicily on Tuesday and crews battled fires in Greece and the Swiss Alps. And most of Italy's mo major cities are on red alert, meaning the extreme heat carries a health risk to everybody, not just vulnerable groups. Scientists say climate change is making heat waves longer, more intense and more frequent. Across the world, millions of people have been impacted by extreme weather, from soaring temperatures in the U.S. and China to heavy rainfall in East Asia. From the world of sports, Benjamin Mendy has signed for French club Bryant after the former Manchester City and friends uh, defender was acquitted in a sex offences trial in England last week. Mendy, aged 29, was cleared, by, was cleared of sex offences last week and in a three-year court process. The player who, who would have faced a lengthy jail term if convicted had previously been cleared in January of 
six counts of rape and one of sexual assault following a six-month trial. But jurors in that trial had been unable to reach a verdict on two other counts. Uh, triggering the retrial that ended last week. Mendy, whose contract with English and European champions Manchester City expired at the end of June, had denied all the charges against him. Before we go, remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS TV for many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Go on to subscribe to our YouTube channel at ABS Television Oka. Join us on Twitter and Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. Now the main points that we need to use again tonight. Federal government has carried out assessment of some erosion sites in Anambra State. Anambra State Legislature has called for the construction of more holding centers for persons displaced by flood. Danambra residing in Abuja have called for support of Governor Saludo's administration. And finally, we told you from the foreign scenes a record heat wave continues to spread across Europe. Here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. That's all on the news tonight. My name is Uche Chukwu Ebonam. Good night.